Hey, San Diego, welcome to the very first episode of Fleet TV. I'm your host, Ashanti Davis, exhibition manager here at the Fleet Science Center. On today's episode, we're gonna talk about health and hygiene. But first, a little science joke to lighten the mood. You know, I was thinking a lot about how in San Diego there are a lot of people who have boats. You know, it's an ocean city, a lot of people like to go boating when they have the time. But boats don't always work exactly as they should. And I was wondering to myself, well, where would a boat go if it's not feeling well? Then I realized it goes to the dock. As the battle between hand soap and hand sanitizer rages on, there can be only one. Going now live to our fleetster in the field, Angel Cortez in Chula Vista, as he gives us the lowdown on the power of soap. Hi everybody, I'm Angel from the Fleet Science Center's education team. And today I want to reproduce an experiment I saw after it went viral online and give y'all my own two cents on the science behind it. It's a fun way to see how washing your hands with soap gets rid of germs. And what's great about this is you can easily do it at home. All we're gonna need is a bowl, about an inch of water, a little more, a little less, that's all right. Pepper flakes. Gonna wanna cover most of the surface of the water here with that. And soap. I'm using dish soap, but you can use hand soap or whatever you have access to. As you can see, the pepper is floating on the surface of the water. This is because hydrogen bonds between water molecules create surface tension. That basically means that water molecules like to stick together. Meanwhile, the pepper is hydrophobic. And if we break that word down to its roots, we know that hydro means water and phobic means fear. In this case, hydrophobic means that the pepper does not dissolve in water. If I dip a dry finger in this, it ends up coated in lots of pepper flakes kind of like picking up germs off of a dirty surface. But if my finger is coated in a little bit of soap, the pepper shoots to the sides. Soap is able to break down the surface tension of water, causing the water molecules to carry the pepper away from the soap as they retreat. It's a great visual for the importance of soap, but the science is a bit different regarding how soap affects viruses. A virus is made up of RNA, proteins, and a lipid membrane holding everything inside of it. Similar to the way soap can break down the surface tension of water, soap also breaks down the lipids in a virus. And without that lipid membrane armor, the virus falls apart like a house of cards and becomes inactive. So go ahead and try this at home and maybe switch up a variable. Will pepper react the same way to hand sanitizer? Or would confetti react the same way to soap? Thanks Angel for that awesome science demonstration. Now, have you ever wondered what happens when you sneeze? Achoo! Welcome back San Diego. With all this talk about health and hygiene, you're probably wondering why we talk about covering our mouths when we sneeze. So I'm gonna demonstrate with a balloon, some confetti and a sharp point really what happens when you sneeze and you don't cover your mouth. As you can see, my germs got all over me and, and frankly everything. So don't forget, cover your mouth when you sneeze and when you cough. Going now live to Andia Pebdani, another fleetster in the field, as she shares some enlightening science about how germs spread. Hi everybody, it's Andia here, and today we're gonna to be doing a demo that shows us the importance of washing our hands in order to reduce the spread of germs. Now, typically you're not able to see germs with a naked eye, but today we're gonna to be using some tools that help us see what it might look like when germs spread. So first, I have some glow germ lotion. This lotion has some UV pigments in it, which means that when it's exposed to UV light, it'll shine in a very bright way. So I have some here in my hand, I have my UV flashlight. If I shine on it, you see that it kind of glows. Let me get a little bit closer, hopefully we can see that a little bit better. Now, if I rub my hands, just like a lotion, now that pigment is spread all over my hands. 
Now if I were to go about my day, you know, maybe pick up some cards, play some games, it would spread to other surfaces that I touch, like my flashlight, like the bottle, or like my cup. I now take you inside my box of science. So we have the UV light set up so that way we can see just how those germs spread. If you look at my hand right now, you can see those brightly colored areas or splotches. That's where all the glow germ lotion is. It's on the back of my hand, it's on the front of my hand, it's under my nails. It's in a lot of wonderful places. Now, let's look at some of the items that I touched, like my cards. Oh, look at the cup. It's all over my cup. Now imagine what would happen if I had touched various surfaces with this hand. Imagine how much all that would spread. So now we're going to do a bit of a before and after and compare what my hands look like now versus after I use some soap and water. Back inside my box of science after washing my hands, looking at my hands and see a lot less fluorescent lighting coming from them. So I got all that washed away thanks to my handy dandy soap. When you're in a pinch and you can't get to a sink with some running water and soap, things like this, hand sanitizer, come in very handy. It kills 99.9% .9 of all germs, according to some advertisers, and it does. But the thing is, remember, we want to get those germs off of our hands and really using soap and water and washing them away is the best way to do that and help prevent the spread of germs. Oh, hi there. Sorry, just tuning up our whisper dishes. Thanks so much for tuning in to our very first episode of Fleet TV. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you learned something. And even more, we hope you will check us out on our YouTube channel, Fleet Science Center. Like us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and most importantly, check us out next time on Fleet TV.